This is Derek Mears, and you're watching DreadCentral.com. I mean, I received the script, it was right after the release of the, the Hills of Eyes, and I received a script which was, you know, I didn't buy the story, I didn't buy the characters, I didn't like anything, but there was that very strong concept which was using the mirrors in the normal movie. And I thought about that and I realized it was such a universal idea. We all have a relationship with mirrors. And I wanted to make a movie that's going to create a fear that you already have inside, a fear of the mirrors, and create that fear with some very, you know, shocking scenes. And then, having that fear staying with you after you watch the movie. You know, when you get back home, you bring that kind of scare with you. You're known for doing really intense characters from Lost Boys to Flatliners, 24. Do you find it hard to jump from intense character to, to character? Um, no, I, I think challenging would be a better word. Um, you know, I think each character has its own specific requirements uh, towards and to feed the story that the director is trying to tell or the writer is trying to tell. Um, you know, that's the excitement of it. That's, that's where you get the juice from. And, uh, you know, my excitement with this guy uh, was just throughout the course of the film, this is a guy who has realized that there is a whole plane of existence on the other side of mirrors. And it's the most evil plane of existence on the planet. You try explaining that to someone, they're going to lock you up because you're insane. And so it creates a kind of isolation for this character that is a really exciting thing to play a sense of being trapped. Uh, and so that was something that I keyed into right away. Um, and then he's also, this is a guy who's down on his luck. Uh, he's been relieved of his duty as a police officer for a questionable shooting. His marriage is in trouble. He's really trying to make everything right. And then this starts, he becomes aware of this situation. Uh, and he's questioning himself whether he's insane. And so all of these elements together were fantastic. Once you jump into a project, you're so keyed into that story and that idea that I think that you're not as aware of what you've done before or what you might even have planned to do later. Yeah. Uh, you're really focused on that thing. And, and so it's, much, it's a challenge much more than it is difficult. You have a very jaw-dropping scene in Mirrors. Um, what was it like with the prosthetics and uh, you know, how, how did you guys pull that off? Um, well, I had to have a whole head cast made and then they, um, they made this prosthetic jaw to go on so that I could rip it off. And then they had to insert special effects and use lots of blood on the walls and blood in the bathtub. And what I like about it is like it's one of those scenes that it hasn't been done a thousand times. It's, a, it's kind of an original scene and so I like that aspect of it. It's very close to Elm Street in a way, you know, like Freddy Krueger is coming in your dreams and killing you in your dreams and whatever he's doing, doing to you in your dreams happened to you in real life. And that's exactly the same idea with mirrors, you know, like whatever your reflection is making you do, that happened to you. You know, I've seen a lot of scary movies, but I have to say, like, I remember watching The Shining and um, I was at my parents' house in northern Michigan when it was really quiet and there was like all the woods and it sort of had the feeling of The Shining and it was like very desolate out and I'm watching the movie and I'm like, I cannot finish it. <laughs> this is so scary. I can't do it. And it just like got in my psyche and, and I still haven't finished it to this day. So. Now, um, you have kind of a signature phrase from 24 that, uh, and I'm wondering if you say damn it at all in mirrors. In mirrors, no. I think I was, a, no. I think I was allowed to swear in mirrors. Oh. I think "damn it" was kind of, a, it was an amalgamation of every possible word that we couldn't say on network yeah, television, and then it just kind of became funny for us. What do you want from me? 